Well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons, and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Boy, does this feel weird. I've never done this before. So the show pony is actually currently celebrating his brother's 60th birthday out in Louisiana. And because it's so close to the fluid art experience, I've stayed behind just to do some bits and pieces and get everything ready for you guys. So I have an episode that I'm going to show you, but it's actually the show pony doing his first ever blob. Um, so he's been watching me do them for a little while now, wanted to get his hands on one and give it a go. And we're using in this episode all Arteza paints. So I've always tended to use Liquitex Basics acrylic paint when I've blobbed because that was what my recipe of 50% Mod Podge 25% gloss varnish and 25% paint was made for. Now I used a slightly different recipe in Christina Welsh's Pourage Posse paints and I have an episode where I use TLP, so I mixed pigments with the Saks True Flow Gloss Medium. Please go check those out. But in this episode, Show Pony wanted to use all Arteza pearls. Thankfully, it was exactly the same recipe as the Liquitex Basics acrylic paints. So it's 50% Mod Podge, 25% gloss varnish, and 25% of the paint. Now, before I get to show you Jeremy's episode, I talked about the Fluid Art Experience, which is coming up, gosh, just next week. So um, November the 17th through the 19th, we'll be hosting around 125 of you with almost 300 classes. I want to show you a little sneak peek behind the scenes of our garage and just what it takes to actually put on the Fluid Art Experience. Take a look at this. So, here's a little sneak peek into just what it takes to put on the Fluid Art Experience. Take a look at this. So this, ladles and jelly spoons, isn't even anywhere near all of the product that the artists provide. Oops, <laughs> tripping over things. In order to make the experience as awesome as it is, this basically is almost as high as and almost fills the garage. And this doesn't include canvases and boxes that you guys will be having to take home all of your artwork. It's just look at all this. Crazy, right? Look at all that product. So just wanted you to see a little behind the scenes so you knew exactly what it is that the artists are doing just to make this experience wonderful for you guys. So enough about the fluid art experience for now. Let's get to the table. Um, I'm going to narrate over this for you, just give you some hints and tips as we go along the way. But 98% of this blob here is the show pony and I'll show you his dried results at the very end. So the observant of you out there will recognize my hands. So this is me showing the show pony the, the very first blob on his canvas, just to kind of give him an idea of exactly the kind of consistency he's looking for and, and just talking him through his first blob. Pretty much everything else that you'll see after here is, is the show pony. So these are in real time. Everything else is sped up for your viewing pleasure. This consistency, as I've already said, is made up of 50% Mod Podge, 25% Liquitex Gloss Varnish and 25% Arteza's Pearl Acrylic Paints. And um, you'll see that as it looks right now on the canvas, it's very milky coloured, that's the Mod Podge. But as it dries and we flick to the second layer, which is just 24 hours after this first layer, you'll see those pearls come right back and seem super shiny. And I've even got the dried result to show you at the very, very end of this episode too. So please stick around. Here you can see the show pony torching each of the layers in between. Now I cut all that out most of the time. So if you don't see us torch anymore, know that torching happens pretty much three and four, five, six times on each layer, because you really want to pop those bubbles before even a skin starts to appear. But um, sit back, watch the show pony blob, listen to some funky music, and I'll be back in and out, just kind of giving you some hints and tips along the way. Something
really funny about the blobs is I feel like your eye is always drawn to the very top layer of your blob, so do cover your base with a lot of kind of blobs as your base layer. And here you'll see the paint now 24 hours later. Look how shiny and pearly this Arteza pearl paint just is. It's wonderful. It dries very much like it looks in the tube. So it was a lot of fun to see that difference between the wet and the dry layers. So here's the show pony now adding his second layer onto his blobs. Such a short time. up on aisle six. Oh my gosh so I'm really glad this happened to the show pony because when it happens the first time you then realize just how easy it is to clean up these blobs so because the layers underneath are dry you can actually take a cotton board and and be quite kind of vigorous with cleaning this up so all you're doing all I'm doing here right now is helping the show pony clean this up you see how easy it is so don't be afraid to actually make a mistake because it's super easy to clean it up when you do and you can remove a whole layer of blob using q-tips if you really need to don't be afraid of it. So you've seen the show pony add some more kind of single layer blobs into this too to kind of fill up some of the negative space. It's really hard to see just how much negative space is going to be left until you really start adding the layers because your eyes tends to be drawn to the top layer. But I love this blob. These paints work really, really well. Well done show pony. This was super successful. Yeah. I wanna love you. I wanna love you. I wanna dance. 
So there you have it, folks. What did you think? I thought he did really, really well. Um, I can't wait to teach a handful of you this technique at the Fluid Art Experience because it's actually a lot of fun and there is some true technique to it. And um, the one thing I want to say to you right here and now is don't be afraid of messing up because as you saw at least once in that episode, just how easy it is to take a, a Q-tip or a cotton board, we call them, and, and mop up that previous blob so that you can blob on it again. It's actually really easy to do. Um, but here is his finished blob piece. So I think it's wonderful. Um, he definitely got a really great mix of the negative space and the blobs on here. The Arteza pearls look fantastic when they're dry. They basically kind of just dried exactly as you would expect them to in the tube. He got a nice layers on here as well. You can see the height of the blobs, which is really, really cool. You get that 3D effect of these. And I think it's wonderful. I love it on a black background. I think it looks really cool. So well done, show pony. I love this blob. This one's gonna be hanging up probably this way, actually, on the gallery wall at the Fluid Art Experience. If we're gonna see you there, this one is for sale. So the Fluid Art Experience, the November the 17th to the 19th, is just one week away. It is not too late to grab tickets if you still want to. They are still available. Um, please come paint with us live and be inspired. You've got some wonderful artists there and we're really excited to paint with you guys. I do not like being here on my own. Come back, show pony, all is forgiven. Please come and paint with me again. Um, you will be seeing us both on the channel on Tuesday and then another episode on Sunday whilst we're at the experience, but we'll pre-record that for you, hopefully have some shenanigans along the way. So please have a great weekend. Follow the train. We've got Gina DeLuca next, then I think it's Mina Villegas Art, and after that it's Brian from Upper Valley Artistry too. So got a few people pouring for your viewing pleasure today. Hopefully we'll see you there. Have a good Sunday everyone. Bye. So now it's time to spank the Patreons. It is time to spank the Patreons. And who are the Patreons? Well, they're a really special bunch of people. Yes. Who've decided to come and follow us outside of the YouTube channel. It says a completely separate account and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level patrons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial. Yes. Where we might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step. So we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel. It means an awful lot to it us. It does mean a lot to us. So we have some thank yous. And at that gold level, we have, we have Trisha West, we have Terry Leshner, we have Tammy Housebrook, we have Stephanie Hancock, We've got Sharon Luffy, the wonderful pocket rocket Patsy Petrelli. <laughs> We've got Nate Bright Art. We've got Mamadoulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepherson, Susan Chigori, Judith Jones Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love and has been with us pretty much from day one. Yes as most of you have. So thank you so very much for being with us. Yes. We really genuinely do appreciate you and your support. It allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you so very much. Thank you very much. And to everyone else that's down here below, we honestly can't thank you enough. It really does mean the world to us. So thanks guys. 